twilight of the gods nears. Brother will kill brother. Families will be sundered by murder. Four ages are afoot. An axe age, a sword age, where shields are cloven. A wind age, a wolf age, where the world falls. No one shall be spared. Welcome to Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion RPG podcast. Prepare for adventure. Welcome to Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion to Ragnarok Adventure. Where we last <laughs> left off, the group gave the giantess the remains of the butchered up heart that uh, Trixie was quested to give for her. Bitch. And now the... the, now the uh, the, the, the spell has abated, so she's free to spend willpower. She did get a, at least a little kick out of the humor of it. Yeah, yeah. You, you sensed a, a certain kinship. <laughs> so uh, now that you guys are heading back, what are you guys going to do? Well, we gotta, we're going to have to get a hold of uh, the land veta so that uh, they can help us. we got to take out this mooncalf, guys. Nigh invulnerable. <laughs> Can we call a land vetter like summit? Moot? A thing. Yeah, a, a thing. A, a meat. A, meat. A, a thing. Moot. A thing. A thing. A thing. A thing. No, from from uh, a thing. the yeah, Almighty from Johnson. From Norse yeah, tradition. A thing. A thing. Yeah, a, thing. Yeah. a gathering. Moot. They had the folk, folk moot. Folk moot. Folk moot. Folk moot with the folk creatures? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so how are you guys going to get in touch with them? That is a good question. Well, I'm stupid. not doing the telepathy thing. The last time, a couple Those, of times, hey, I did they that. They were under the... Well, your telepathy doesn't have that kind of range. Uh, yeah. So you're going to have to actually go to each one of their sites. Yeah. Uh, you're closest to the Earth. Yeah, and we should we set up a place. Maybe he could suggest a, t- a place and stuff like that that we, they could all meet. Let's hope maybe they have, they've like, done it before. <laughs> That's true. Maybe they can talk to each other long distance. Like, yeah, on they're the on the phone. phone. What, they're on family the family plan? plan? Well, well, traditionally, Trixie knows from the stories, it's usually the dragon that goes about contacting everybody. Because he okay. flies. Well, how quick. about this? Um, why don't we... Um, well, everyone's going to see a big bird. Um, bird. Oh, don't worry about the muggles. <laughs> they'll think um, it's a plane. I was like, I could ask my guys to go, one of my guys to fly over to talk to the dragon. I could ask who would be, hey, would, you, you'll go, your boys, which one of you guys would be interested in delivering a message to uh, the, the dragon? I'll, I'll, I don't know. <laughs> Last time I heard they eat the messenger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, he's not a regular dragon. He's a land with that. I don't know. He was pretty scary last time. Yeah, but he was under the influence of a knifing pole, which we got rid of, if you recall. Well, if you want us to do it, we'll do it. It's like, all right, I want one of you guys, well, you know, two of you guys go and uh, tell him to meet us at the, uh, or so gather up the to- Lavater. Hold it. We need We're going to have to you know what actually is the sea cat, the sea bull, we're going to be able to make it to, why don't we meet all of the sea He's bull? not really a sea bull. He's a land vetter. So, well, that's true. I mean, I'm just saying that there's a dragon and it's like they're intelligent. There's Maybe more things in, uh, in a nerf ratio than, than are dreamt of in, all, in your philosophy. Um, I don't know, where do you guys, uh, should we all meet at the, la- the earth guy and uh, go well, from there? Let's pick a but nice warm volcano. Where's where's the calf we could get meat close to it? Well, we know where it is, yeah, but we got to formulate a plan is first. Is it close to any of the uh, land? Yeah, are? it's closest to the rock giant. Okay. No, no. It's, it's pretty much northeast southwest. It's, it's either, they're all on yeah. opposite ends of the No, no, the, the land cow or the moon no, cow, whatever moon it is. The moon calf? Moon calf, yeah. That's, that's closest to the... Uh, the earth. The earth. The stone giant. So yeah. let's all meet. So, tell yeah. the dragon to tell the, the land vetter to meet at the earth land vetter's domain. At his throne, his whatever you call Can it. Can I suggest we ask? What? Ask, ask what? what? 
rather than tell him. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, true. Okay, yeah. Let's be nice, boys. Ask politely. So, so exactly what is your message to, 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 your, to be delivered? Um, oh, great, Lambita. The, uh, we servant of the Scion, uh, Loki, you met, okay, okay, we are the Scion, okay, oh, great land, but, uh, we, the servant of, uh, the Scions that rescued you, would like to ask that you and all the rest of the land, but, uh, meet in the Earth, but land, but, uh, domain, so that we can discuss the moon calf and Ragnarok. To protect Iceland. And the Ooh, world. Good touch, since that's all they care to about. Protect the world. Iceland from the la- the frost giants. Okay. We okay. got a bus. And, and, and Be careful. <laughs> He's gone already. You didn't hear that. Okay. So, uh, what do you guys do? Um, we're in Reykjavik. Do we go back to Reykjavik, or are we? Okay. Well, let's get some um, gear together. You know, like cold weather stuff, just in case. Um, and, I need uh, to pick up some Skittles for the boys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let's get a collection of gear together. Of course, our weapons, uh, vehicle, <laughs> Torsen will not be joining us. Aww. <laughs> um, and Frost got called back to... He's on, what, active duty? Yeah. Frost has got to, he had to go to the U.S. Uh, military base there because he, he got a, a message. Yeah. Do we so, have a U.S. military? Yes. Oh, cool. So Frost will, will, will be well, tied up at fine. the moment. Okay, and? But we're, we, you know, we messaged him and let him know where yeah. we were going. Stop. Okay. Oh, and part of the message was be there in um, the second moon hence. Okay, you up to Drakey? Uh-huh. Okay. I think your net would be better to, uh, okay. you know, so we have to definitely just warm. Dragon yeah, don't well, care. <laughs> Jackie don't care. <laughs> Jackie fly over Reykjavik. Jackie don't care. Yeah. Well, some of us don't adapt well to the cold. Okay. Take care. All right. So what are you guys going to do in the meantime? In Reykjavik, we're going to get some supplies and stuff and provisional cold weather camping. Okay. You know, that type of shtick. So where are you guys going to go hang out? Um, that's a good question. We haven't, had much, we, ha- we haven't had much luck with the hotel bars. <laughs> 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 um, let's see. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm going for a swim in the hotel pool. Okay. And sit in the hot tub. Okay. Uh, so we're at a different, a different I think hotel. we should go research, see if we can find any more local research on the Oh, moon yeah, calf. maybe, let's go to a local library. Maybe they have a whole, or the uni- yeah. or, or, or university library, if we could get access to that. Pretty and much no mundane research well, is going to give you anything arcane. about the moon calf. Let's go f- see if we can find some arcane information somewhere. Okay, how are you going to do that? I don't know, you've got a cult, Cal. Um, I'm going to roll for a cult... And see um, if you can dredge up any more. Ask the concierge. (laughs) (laughs) What? The concierge is always there to help. I'm not that full service. Okay, I got five. You got five? Uh That's a good rule. Pretty much you know that the gods put the the moon calf down, but they were unable to destroy it. Yeah. So I say we, I mean... I say we dump it in a volcano, frankly. Yeah. Even if it won't destroy it, it's going to be a bitch from. getting to it. But there yeah. actually are a couple to choose from. Wait, do frost giants like magma? Frost no, giants but, do not like like hot. But they can tolerate. What about, what about fire giants? Do they like magma? Fire giants Mag- love magma. 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 They use magma as a hot tub. Damn. So the fire giants can get it then. I mean, you know. So. Well, you got any suggestions? How do we break that which is unbreakable? How do you kill that which has no life? <laughs> well, well, thousands you know, of years. You know, guys, there are deep fissures in the ocean floor. Mariana Trench? Yeah, no, I'm saying and volcanic ha- fissures in the... Okay, now guys, remember, this thing is giant. giant. But they are giant fissures. Well, Bryn, yeah. how are you going to get this giant thing you can barely pick up and move it to an ocean floor? 
Well, yes. for it's going to yes. sink if you drop well, the seed. Well, you got to get it there. Right? You'd have to get it there. Currently, the, the giant's problem is it's buried in a glacier, and they're digging it out. Okay. They're having a hard time getting it out of the ground. How are you going to get it out to the ocean? But there's ways. I but wonder I how were the land the, better created? The, the fire giants wouldn't want to go in the ocean. Because they're nature spirits. Well, maybe and, uh, is there a nature spirit of ice that would protect the glacier against... No. Oh, come on. And the frost giants... There, there, there's a guy out the there that, that everybody knows that likes cold and he's protective and all that stuff, but... He, he's not quite Landvetter type. He's more like almost Scion-ish. There's almost, a Scion? Yeah, almost, Jack Frost. Exactly. Ah. There is a Jack Frost. He would be uh, like a type of demigod, right? Rise of the Guardians. <laughs> Rise of the Guardians. Well, he's not a demigod, but he's something similar. Like he's elves. Like elves are not gods, but there's something similar. Well, um... Well, who created it? Was it was dwarves that created it? Uh, no, it was built by the giants. The giants. So okay. they used magic, I assume, to do it because how could they create it? Yeah, but the gods couldn't destroy it. The gods have magic. It was a scion that came apparently closest, if I recall correctly, to destroying it. So I mean, if you're able to create something, you should be able to destroy it too. Well, in the God's wisdom, they were unable to come up with a way of doing it. Which what is why we... they pretty much dumped it where it couldn't be found. It's not bad. It's only taken God knows how many thousands of years for someone to find it. I mean... Yeah, but... Hmm. I'm wondering is... Well, how long were they looking? I mean... There's got to be a way to destroy it. I mean, let's put it this way. They, it, they had to keep the land better busy to find it, so. Well, I, well, obviously, normally the land better would be enough to protect it, I guess, because they had to get them out of the, all four of them out of the way because uh -huh. they were worried about it. So maybe we get them to take care of it for us once we get it out of the hands of of the giants and the dwarves. You let the land better decide what, uh -huh. what should be done? They, they, these are ancient, noble creatures that, you know, have been protecting this land for centuries. I, they might have a good, uh, one or two good ideas, I'm just saying. Sounds good to me. Okay. So, uh, you guys are going to go out to where you told the land better to meet you? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if any creature's <clears throat> got wisdom, I'm assuming it's one that lived for centuries and centuries. Okay, so you guys are heading on out there, and so you guys. So, where exactly are you going to be meeting them? At the uh, Earth Better. Side. You don't remember where we <coughs> kind of stopped up at the at the top of that hill? Uh huh. When we, just before we were basically where our... you met the giant. Yeah. Why don't okay. we meet there? Because until he gives us permission to enter his domain again, because the last time we were there, I mean, it was kind of. You know, we freed them, but we did kind of make a okay. mess. Yeah. So you guys are going to camp out there? Yes. Okay, so you guys are setting up your tents and stuff. Somebody give me a survival to make sure you set it up all appropriate like. Okay. So the first night it doesn't... Survival end up and... Away. Survival wits? and it, wits, intelligence, dexterity, strength. That is one of my special dice. One, two, three, four, five. I just need one of you guys to roll it. Yeah, I, I don't have a high survival, so I'll let them. I have got four successes. Okay, good enough. You, you set you set a good solid camp that doesn't blow away in the middle of the night. Okay, so you guys camp out there for the mill in the middle of the night. Who's you gonna do any watches or anything like that? That would be best. Okay, so what what kind of watch system are you guys gonna use? Um, well, uh, there's four of us. Let's do quarters. Um, I'll take the I'll last one. I'll take the one. first one, because it's still a little on the warm side. Right. <laughs> hey, sure. Just yeah. saying. Not to mention the fact that every time in Journey of the Fifth Edition of D&D, <laughs> you take the first watch, something always happens. Maybe I'll you'll get there! lucky. Here. Yeah, maybe you'll get lucky this time. I'll take the last That's watch. That's her mantra. <laughs> I'll take the middle one. Okay. So, uh... Night's going pretty smooth for you guys. You guys sit down for the night. All of a sudden, 
Thora, on mm-hmm. your watch, you hear in the distance some rock. Something's churning in the ground. Something's moving. Is it our little friend? You don't know. It's dark. You no moss? You just feel... It, it sounds almost like footsteps. And that's, of course, I stir the rest of them. So you, wait, you, you jump in to wake everybody up? Yeah. Okay. And just as you're about Trying to come to out of the tent, you see a little rock... No moss. Go no rolling moss. by, you guys. And rolling kind of, by. And, and he kind of rolls, rolling, rolling, stops, rolling. and does this little side-by-side turn. Because, like, he's excited to see you guys. Hi, no moss. Hi, no moss. How you doing, baby? And, and, and he kind of, like, just rolls in circles a couple of times. <laughs> little, little circle pattern. We missed you, you too. And, and then he rolls into your tent, bringing <laughs> dirt and a few <laughs> other pieces of gravel with him. <laughs> I'm really not fond of dirt. Okay, so what do you guys do? I'm gonna give him another kiss on the cheeks. So he's got another, you know, right way. Another up. lipstick, lipstick on the opposite on side. <laughs> it's it. The first one is almost gone because, of course, he rolls around, but uh-huh. you know, it's still there. All righty. So, so uh, you guys finish out the rest of the night. Yep. Get yep. ready, and where are you guys head? To the stone giant area, or okay. Sure. Yep. Close to it. Okay. Well, well, what, we're gonna make camp with the, the the Earth guys until right outside until the rest of the land better show up. Okay. okay, so you're not gonna go to the stone giant. Um, should we wait until the dragon shows up and then show up? I think that would be make more of an entrance. We can use telepathy on uh, Nomas. Yeah, we can just like see, stay or wait, uh, wait or or go. I mean, uh, we'll I don't know. Don't care. The, what do you want me to say? Yeah. Tell him to stay. No, I'm not telling him anything. Should, should we at, wait? Should we wait for the land? The wait land here, or? go or go there. Because yeah. you brought up the telepathy. Well, we so what do you want him to say? In the, yeah. yeah. Because well, think about it. When we make wait camp here, here tent or go there. Oh, know. I'm asking him. Yeah. You're, you're, okay. So what are you going to ask Nomas? Okay, I would Basically, say. Should we wait or should um, we should we stay or should, should we go? go? <laughs> and of course, no monster's response is, don't go. Aww. Aww. This is the real little guy. Of course, right I meant go to Landvetter. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what happens when you don't finish the sentence. Say, go to Landvetter? Okay, so I say... No, I would say... Do we go to Vetter? He to pretty Vetter. much he just, it's outside his pay grades. He, okay. you know, <laughs> he's just doing his thing. Yeah. Okay, let's just go. Let's uh, just go and we'll hang out there. Okay, so you're going to go to the Stone to Giants area? Yep. A couple times you you think you see a couple stones stand up and then disappear just a rock or two in the ground, but you don't you don't see see any Impression of anything hostile. That's because no moss is with us, man. Yeah. And of course, no moss has no problem rolling along with you guys. Rolling. You resisted the, the urge to yes, sing. Yes, I did. You were I strong did. today. He's rolling. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys are heading back to where you remember the earth, the stone giant was. Yes. yes. And you see the same topography there, the little little cracked fissure with some steam coming out, keeping the snow off the ground in this area. So what do you guys do? Well, we don't see any, but it's not night yet, so. It is is firmly and nice and bright in the afternoon. So I say we make. Wait. What? Make camp and wait. Okay. Oh, we dismantled camp. You, you broke down we camp? We camp with well, us. Well, why not? Because it's going to be cold. All right, fine. Okay. So we you have time to go back and break camp and bring it back. <laughs> okay. You head back, you confuse Nomas, you break down <laughs> camp, and then you come back. Okay, so as soon as you guys uh, start, uh, pretty much the first time someone puts a hammer to a tent well, spike in the I'm ground, that... all of a sudden a bunch of the earth spirits make their presence known. They're probably not like us making a fire, too. Damn, yeah. Okay, well, some of us are going to be... And they're just chilling. looming. They're not saying a word. They're just... <laughs> they like, okay, grumble, put grumble, up. Up. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. And then all of a sudden you see in that stone, remember that stone uh, throne? Yeah. The stone giant pops up, sitting in it, with his very large fighting staff. Tell him waiting for... 
You can use you know, full words. Waiting for other land better. Okay. Bryn, do you do that? And then go folk moot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can say uh, waiting for other vetter to come. Okay, and he just kind of nods at you and taps his staff. And some some of the, the, the earth spirits that are watching you fade into the earth. But there's still a few looming standing over you. Probably ones that remember you from when you destroyed the totem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do I recognize any old friends? Oh, yeah. well, some of them do have a few scars and marks, but uh, you that you, you recognize in, in the rocks. So you guys pretty much spend the day there. Yep, yep. playing cards. Wants to play cards. <laughs> is this your card? <laughs> and the whole time, No Moss is like rolling around you guys, looking at the cards, trying to figure out what the hell you guys are doing. A <laughs> couple like, times he rolls through the pot. Thing? It's like, what is this paper thing? It, it's like, part wood, part... <laughs> okay, and all of a sudden you hear a uh, whooshing sound. Ooh. Okay, and uh, pretty much when you guys look in the distance, you see Draki basically flying up. Cool. Okay. So, uh, you guys getting prepared to receive guests? Yep, yes. we, we send up, put the cards away, you know... Since now, for the record, since you initiated this moot as host, <laughs> oh, what have you done to set up for your guests' comfort? Um, don't look at me! <laughs> hey, we brought the tent. <laughs> <laughs> we have some camp rations and stuff. We're going to need a bigger tent. We're going to yeah. need a bigger tent. For all our friends in New Zealand, you know yeah. the Almighty Johnson's prepared for the folk move. <laughs> hey, I saw that episode. There was no hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, as a matter well, of fact, <laughs> there was some turning into trees. Do we and know and what these guys eat? I mean, it's like... Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, well, uh, what do you feed a, 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 a rock? Special air and... Uh, <laughs> Well, that's what we did to, you know... To get, to get their attention. Yeah. And so, well, when they, okay. he start, they start arriving, I think if we can distract them, guess what? It's, <laughs> uh, you know, Iceland in trouble. Okay. I think that they'll have bigger concerns. Okay, so... They the, know we're friendly. The dragon uh, stops a little bit outside of where you guys are and respectfully nods to the stone giant in his, in his throne. Stone giant nods back to him and he approaches, walking a little clumsily. Making sure where he steps. Okay, now we just need two more. Okay. And then as you guys are there, Draki comes and he bows his head to you. And we bow back. Mm-hmm. Oh, Scions, you have done well. You have freed my brothers and I. But there is still more yet to do to save Iceland and the world. And then as soon as he, he says... From that Ragnarok. He smiles and all of a sudden from behind one of his little horns... You see a little bright light twinkle and come flying. Oh, oh my god! I flew so fast! <laughs> oh, Jack, I'm glad you had a good time. But my wings are kind of cold. <laughs> Miney with you? Where's Miney? I sent two. Uh huh. And then all of a sudden, behind the leg, all of a sudden, you see this little little, little pixie frozen shivering okay. to the back of the. I unzip my jacket. A little. I said, hop on in, boys. Er, it's warm, and you get the coldest impression ever when Ooh, they bundle woo, against woo, woo, woo. you. Oh, they are very cold oh. and wind chill. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you won't want boys. Oh, Jesus! Chill effect. So all of a sudden, just about that time, all of a sudden, swirling winds start whipping the area, Good pretty much trashing your tent. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the winds coalesce into the eagle sitting right next to your tent. <laughs> I'll say it. Holy shit. <laughs> Welcome, Great Eagle. And it just kind of eagle chirps at you. <laughs> and then just goes about preening itself after it nods to the dragon and then the stone giant. And then after a few more moments, remember that earth fissure that had the steam coming out? Uh-huh. All of a sudden, boiling hot water starts bubbling up out of the ground. <laughs> and it, it kind of pools and then travels in its own little stream and then finally it starts 
gathering and growing to a globe of water that turns into the the bull seal of the sea. Wow. That's pretty cool. It's my favorite seal. (laughs) And and, and when the seal looks at Bryn, it kind of scratches its belly. (laughs) (laughs) Where she left an impression. (laughs) So did you. (laughs) Yeah, so be on your best man is. (laughs) Okay. So, so all four land that are here, the seal bows to the, his compatriots. And what do you guys do? You're running the show. Okay. Um, you want to lead the discussion here? Dora. Me? No, I thought you were doing it. Ah, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in public, you're, so you're, having, you're having okay. this conversation. All righty. Now that I've called you all here, <laughs> I thank them for coming. I, well, I, yes, I want to thank you guys for coming. Um... There's still a great threat against, and now that, I mean, we're glad that you guys are all woken up and, and back to your old, you know, normal, so to speak. Um, but there's still a great uh, threat looming over Iceland as well as the rest of the world. Okay? Ragnarok. We're trying to stop Ragnarok. And the, uh, the frost giants and the dwarves are actively trying to resurrect... The moon calf. Do you guys remember the moon calf? Actually, they don't. Drat. Okay. It was thrown into an a, uh, ice flow and landed on ice land. Okay. Well, okay, so why don't you just give them a brief description I'm, of what yeah. we're dealing with. Okay, the moon calf was this um, gi- ginormous um, creation created by the giants way back when, Okay. This thing is nigh invulnerable, okay? Back in the day, okay, it required a large heart to actually operate. But historically speaking, the largest one they could come up with was a mare's heart, which isn't really big enough, so it wasn't at full power, okay? So this scion uh, of what? Heim? Who was it? He was a scion of something or other. um, Was able to... Not destroy it, but stop it because of the heart. And if he had gotten a bigger heart, it would have pretty much been indestructible and not been able to stop, and the world as we know it would be gone. Okay? They're trying to resurrect this lovely creature that in its in their uh, wisdom in the past, they uh, subjected it, you know, I guess, still form to a ice flow, which apparently landed here in Iceland, your beautiful, beautiful country. Um, They're trying to dig it out of a glacier as we speak. If they're able to do that, or I should say when they're able to complete that, because they're already under construction, all right, all they got to do is put it into another uh, heart of a very, very large creature. And I have to warn you, we've already gone up against two mean creatures that could have fit the bill. Okay, so they ain't joking around. And obviously they were worried about you four, and that's why they tried to basically prevent you from foiling their plans. But if it hadn't been for us meddling kids, <laughs> um, uh, that you'd still be under their wicked spell. Okay, what we need is you for you and your great wisdom and power to help us not only stop the dwarves and the frost giants from excavating the moon calf, okay, but either we got to try and destroy this thing or prevent it from falling into hands that could use it to destroy Iceland and the world. We bow to your greater wisdom and power and beg you to help us. Okay, you can see they all start exchanging glances, definitely moved by your your, your speech. Then they start... Trixie. <laughs> <laughs> then they start kind of grumbling amongst themselves, and it, you, you you sense that there's some kind of you know discord in the way that they're that they're conversing with each other. Like not agreeing. The, the, right the, they're or... just weighing the the, the, the the different angles. Well, see, when someone has to play devil's advocate, so, and, th- think, you know, think of it me? a bit like during Lord of the Rings when the treants couldn't come to a decision. True. Ah. Okay, I would just like to point out that one of the Nemean creatures that we defeated was on your own very soil in the sewers and the caverns of Reykjavik. We defeated 
the fear pig. I'm going to use the Icelandic term because okay. she would have remembered that. Not that okay. I can pronounce this and would do horrible injustice to the language, as beautiful as it is. Okay. Um, uh, and not only that, it was having babies. Okay, it killed at least a dozen or more people down uh, in Reykjavik. Okay, and I'll have you know, the dwarves were trying to take it as well. They wanted to capture for the heart, the heart for the heart. Now, needless to say, we took care of that heart. She ain't th those uh, frost giants ain't getting it. Okay, but I'll have you know, their destruction is already affecting your great country as we speak. Okay, and that kind of gets their attention. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of they attacked you directly. Okay. I mean, so, <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying, you know, I mean, I don't know what you guys are discussing, but I just would like to point out the fact, okay, that you've already been assaulted by them. Okay? Your people are being assaulted by them. They're being fed to these horrible, Peace. you know... Titan, titan spawn creatures okay it's only a matter of time if they get the moon cap over and the moon cap is here and they get it orkin the first people the first people and first land it's going to destroy is right here okay they definitely you see draki he's getting very opinionated and <clears throat> they they basically ask you to give them leave to have counsel amongst themselves sure, of course sure, no problem we'll 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 hike on over this way Okay. So they basically are having some heated debate. Obviously, you notice from a distance that Draki... Draki is all about the gun ho let's go. Well, he was the most zealous of them all. <laughs> that he does represent fire and, you know, action and instant call to action. And, and the eagle's just kind of passe just... He, he with flies his above it all. <laughs> and, and just doesn't seem to really give a crap either way. The stone giant is still concerned about protecting his territory because he's fearing that it's under attack. Because well, it is. There's close oh, I would have also mentioned that the moon cap is actually in the Earth's territory presently. Okay. Well, technically, it's just outside, actually. Because it's in the glacier. Funny, I didn't know that. Yeah, I know. Hmm. No. <laughs> oh, was I off by a few hundred uh, well, you, you never actually miles? found the exact location, but I, I, I get what you're going with. This direction. <laughs> it's like, I'm talking to you and waving at you with this hand, but this hand's doing something else. So what you're saying is you knew you were lying? No, okay. I didn't. Yeah, that hand's I'm just... Because if you're doing misdirection, that's you actively are lying. So that's, no, a, that's a whole no, different I'm thing. No, no, I'm just, you know. Okay. Embellishing. So, there's a difference. That counts as lying. Well, it's on the land. <laughs> It's the land's his domain. It's in and his it's area. not far. Okay, so so pretty much after a day of parlaying, they pretty much come to a decision. And the walrus pretty much is not caring because it's not on the water. So he he basically basically he bows to the others and then turns back into water and disappears down the the, the steam vent. Okay. And uh, Draki comes before you, gives you a nice, noble nod. Not bad. We have come to a decision. Those of us that can will aid you. What is your plan? Um, well, <laughs> I say we go to the excavation. Um, and we pretty much do the uh, beatdown. Yeah, but then what do we do with it afterwards? Well, that's what I'm hoping that you guys can help us with is... What do we do with this moon cap afterwards once we liberate it, so to speak, from the, the dwarves giants. and the frost giants? How are we going to stop this creature of immense power and prevent it from falling into other hands? Are we bow to your wisdom and your great experience. <laughs> Very nicely put. Okay, he kind of... Uh, Looks thoughtfully off, off, off into the distance. Is the dragon big enough to? And the are they big enough? The we three of them to pick it up. The three that are left. Uh, well, maybe the eagle and the dragon working together might be able to do it. They That's can go big. ahead and try try it though. 
Okay, so uh, they're, they're, they're just, he's just sitting there thinking of what to do with it. Hmm. Okay, so uh, he just looks at you and gives you the, the nod, uh, almost a fatherly look in his eye. Of, when the time comes, I will dispose of it for you. Excellent. Let's go open works. a can of whoop ass. Works, works for me. <laughs> okay. It's not like we're taking it home for a souvenir. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no. All okay. Right. So you guys are going to head off into the distance yeah. for the, for the right. excavation site? Yeah. Oh, can, oh we get you know, we can always fly. Can we get a ride on the dragon's back? You, you can eagle? ask. I mean, yeah, you can ask. Are you going to ask? Yeah. Because that way we can just fly over and then uh, drop down death from above. I'm going to <laughs> uh, think, yeah, no, we can talk to them. So We can talk to the dragon. So I would say mighty dragon, dragon lord, <laughs> would it be possible for you and your companions Companions to give us a lift to the spot. Do they know where this? So gone, no, they don't know the gone. spot. You guys she are telling does. them the spot. Oh, okay. She can tell. Um, remember, she had the. That's right. She, she remembers that. the way. So, she knows exactly uh, where it is because what and what you can do is maybe transfer that telepathically. Okay. Well, okay. So you're driving. Well, I don't know. I I was asking uh, the. Dragon, if we could get rides, so we don't have to. If you can okay. telepathically, telepathically send them the yeah. your, the your unerring way of. Well, we don't have. Oh yeah. Remember can, you did yeah, the. Right. You were leading right. us right. to the. Right. Okay, so, so Bryn, you're you're gonna lead the charge. So I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna think to him. This is the. This is the place where the moon calf is at, where they are digging. Can you give us a lift? Okay, and he basically has you all get on top of him. Okay. Sweet. No, no, there's like, so, Kane's big guy. So he gets to go on the eagle. Oh, well, the eagle uh, just turns into wind, so. Oh, he yeah, turns say When the well, eagle's well, moving the eagle quickly, will... the eagle oh, okay. would rather be oh, wind okay. than a physical right, form. Right. I guess we're all Him giving us the okay. lift that one time was just a That was a well, he lived, Yeah. Okay. And it was, you know, because it was a car. He could drop that in a second. Okay. All yeah. right. Okay. So you guys get on Drackey's back, and he's taking you off the direction. The eagle is following, and the stone giant's got a small contingent of his land vetter coming with him. So okay. cool. Unfortunately, they're he's rolling falling. Along. They're he's, rolling they're along falling, underneath. <laughs> they're falling behind, of course, because you're going fast on a dragon's back. Yeah, Unless right. you want to slow down. Do you want to slow down? Yeah, we, yes. we want to keep the group together, so okay. I would say... Wait for the land better. Okay, so the eagle and the dragon are doing slow loop de loops in the air, waiting for the giants Woo! to catch up. <laughs> uh, it was better than Disneyland. <laughs> okay, so you notice. A Actually, I'm huddling behind Bryn, going, Oh God, it's freaking cold. You notice a few times that all of a sudden, as the earth land better are running forward, a few giants pop up from ambush, and you pretty quickly, you guys are in awe because you're on the dragon's back, and the dragon and the eagle are just making giant heads fall off. Awesome. Awesome. At one point, you see the, that uh, the dragon comes down, swoops down, grabs two giants in his talons, and then flies up with you guys on his back, lets go of the giant, and the eagle just slices through them. With the feathers. Wow. Like a cold gale wind, and it literally just rips them to shreds as they hit the ground. Wet, soppy, freezing Man, drops. Man, these guys would have kicked our ass. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so as you guys, since you have a nice vantage point, and thankfully the land vetter are keeping the lookouts from really reporting anything... Yeah. You guys see up ahead where the land basically is covered where a glacier crashed into the land. And you see about a mile and a half into the glacier, there seems to be some kind of building set up and a huge excavation area going. Really? Okay. Well, I think we're definitely in the right place. Does anyone have telescopic vision? I do. I don't. Okay, uh, Kane, with your vision, no. you can see like an eagle from here that it's actually a, uh, ar in, uh, a uh, archaeologist's dig site. 
they're digging something. Uh, the, the company brands. They're digging in the wrong place. <laughs> it's a National Geographic's <laughs> dig site for some frozen woolly mammoths. Aww. Okay. Since we're at a high advantage flying uh-huh. above and stuff like that, um, and with penetrating glare or something okay. or something, can we see a large shape underneath the ice somewhere? Go ahead and give me a perception because you don't have telescopic vision, so you're still at a distance. Yeah. So perception and awareness. Oh, I can Does it look like they're digging? It looks like they've sco- they, they have gone from it. I point, had one success. One wait success. A I have a, you wait a see minute. that there are multiple <laughs> shapes under the ice in this area. Okay, so those would be the mammoths. I'm talking about something big. At this point, you don't see something big. You just see that there's stuff under the ice. <clears throat> because it's, you're still like you're a good half a mile away. You know, it's it's not like you're close enough to see straight down into the ice. What you, you, you both do see is, though, there was once a small little dig site that has been turned into a rock quarry style digging through the ice. Oh, they just that's probably just strip mine down into the ice. And they just keep and going. And you see about uh, 40 folks working nonstop with actual equipment digging this out. Does Cats like coming out of the ramps. It's, they, they look humanoid. I can't, can't give you that much at this distance. Except for you, yes, they are dwarves. Cane. You can okay. see that they're they're obviously dwarf mining crews working. Okay. I'll let them know what I'm seeing. Okay. <coughs> okay, so what are you guys doing? And the earth vetter, just as you're getting to the glacier, the earth vetter don't really want to go on the ice. You can see them all do the whole cat on ice motion when they step on ice for the first time. Okay. Okay. Try and so... draw their attention over to the to the oh. strip mine. Okay. So, so what are you guys going to do? Uh, well, I say that we have the Earthland Vetter and his minions. Uh, basically, yeah, take out the people in the land. The, the dwarves? The, yeah. Because, you know, they're, they're yeah, destroying they're, the, right, you know, this. Right. They're know. chewing up a glacier. A, yeah. a glacier. I mean, it's, it's not destroying Iceland. Well, they don't want to go into the ice, so. Yeah. How are you going to rally the troops? What? Ice is the land vetter's kryptonite? No, Harry. <laughs> Iceland, glacier. What happens to Earth land vetter when they're on the ocean, basically, floating on ice? They're no longer connected to the land. Okay, so this is right next to the ocean? The, Carrie, glacier slides across, hits Iceland. This is off the actual Earth onto the glacier itself. You're so not, not on solid land. You're not on land. You're on a glacier. You're on water. But the land is below it. No. So it's on Iceland. I, but they're disconnected. Fine. Because land, the water sits between. glacier. And you guys are basically where they're digging. It's off there. Because basically someone chucked this thing off into the, the north, hit glacier, glacier eventually hit Iceland. That's why the land better have no clue about this thing because it's, it's not part it's of Iceland. It's never touched the land. It's never been on Iceland, yeah. And that's a good place to end. <laughs> okay, we'll find out what happens next time. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Bye. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Hi, this is Jim from Ragnarok and Roll, a scion hero to Ragnarok podcast and the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And I'd just like to say, thank you for listening, and may fate always be on your side. Alright, so everybody pick up your dice and roll your d10. See who does the other. Damn. Well, he got a nine, that's good. I got a four. I got a nine. I got an eight. I got an eight. So you two both got nine. Dice. Roll off. One. Oh, yay. I don't have to do it this time.
Stop. Oh, there's, there's going to be another, an X. Don't forget. So don't forget, Dan. You have to keep the signals. Or carry. Since yeah, Carrie's no in problem. the Trevor spot. 45? Got it. Got it. Yeah. We got it. Okay. <coughs> <laughs> Welcome back to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. <laughs> okay. Okay, then. Wake up, wake up, wake up. I didn't know. See, they're used to say hearing me say it, so they don't react anymore. I got the wrong character. <laughs> Which is an awesome game. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me try this one again. Welcome back to... <laughs> Shit, what, did you get? what happened? The dog. Come on, Come on Fiona. Come she on. jingled and jangled and dangled uh, outside her. Got first that jingle, jangle. <laughs> and they're, they're going to be mad at you when you do an outtake. I'm just gonna save her little spur jingle jingle and throw that in some ro- somewhere randomly. 